Malik travels across the country hiking. He writes about each of his hikes in a journal. He has just finished hiking in the Enchanted Rock State Natural Area near Fredericksburg, Texas. These are some entries from Malik's journal. July 1. For many years I've heard about Enchanted Rock State Natural Area in the Texas Hill Country. I'd never thought I'd travel to Texas to hike. After all, I hike tall peaks and enjoy the view from what feels like the top of the world. When I thought of Texas, I had a vision of flat land. After my hike, I decided I was wrong. As I drove on Ranch Road 965 and rounded a corner earlier this morning, I saw Enchanted Rock. It was a huge pink dome rising above the ground. Once I arrived at the State Park's office, I picked up some literature and read about the history of Enchanted Rock. It is made up of granite and is a batholith, or a large rock, that forms under the ground from cooled magma. Over time, Enchanted Rock has been uncovered by erosion. At the base of Enchanted Rock, I took a drink and checked my backpack to make sure I had enough water for the hike. Next, I put on my sunscreen. I knew the temperature would climb higher than 90 degrees Fahrenheit by the end of my hike, and I did not want to be dehydrated or sunburned. With a smile on my face, I set out on the four-mile trail. I noticed there were several trees and grasses at the base. As I continued my climb, I saw fewer trees. The granite rock was the star feature. At one point, a sound startled me. I turned to see a graceful deer leaping over a prickly pear cactus. Along the way, there were several large boulders. Many of them had children climbing on them. Today, since it was just days before a holiday, there were many people climbing Enchanted Rock. I certainly would not have been stranded up there. Within an hour, I'd made it to the top of the rock. Though it is only 425 feet high, the view with the view was breathtaking. I felt peaceful. I must add that the wind was fierce. When I let go of my hat to take more water from my backpack, the wind ripped my hat off my head. Luckily, my chin strap kept it from blowing away. I stayed at the top for an hour, enjoying the view. Then I headed west down the path. I was surprised to see what appeared to be little islands filled with plants. I wondered how plants could grow on the rock. I learned later that these islands are called vernal pools or weather pits. Over time, the wind creates depressions in the rock. Then water collects in the depressions, which allow plants to grow in the harsh environment. Hikers are forbidden to disturb the plant or animal life on Enchanted Rock in order to preserve these unique features. Back at the base, I couldn't believe my hike was over. I wanted to do it again. So I did. This time, I got a bird checklist and set out on a different trail. As I looked for birds, I thought about what Enchanted Rock would look like at night. I bet the stargazing would be incredible. I wish I had planned to spend more time at Enchanted Rock. Until I can return, I'll remember the tranquil feeling of being at the top of the Texas Hill Country.